I started Artists with Autism in 2012. My son was approximately 21 years old. He'd always been creative doing artwork, painting and drawing and coloring. And we started making Christmas cards for the family. And the family thought it was a great idea, thought that maybe we should start selling them. So we started selling the Christmas cards. He started making more paint. And we were doing lots of different kinds of artwork. Then I met other families who also had children who were talented with the arts. And they had the same idea that I did, that we had to find a way to help our children to learn how to become successful, to learn how to be self-employed as artists. And approximately a year ago, we opened up a festival, a gallery at the Festival Flea Market. And currently we have about 14 different artists, all age and ranging from eight years old to 50 years old, mostly from South Florida. I have a couple of artists from different countries. And the gallery is used as a training gallery to help the artists learn how to become self-employed as artists. We are in collaboration with some local schools and the schools have students who are after have graduated and they're learning how to become entrepreneurs and we help to promote the things that they make and the proceeds the proceeds go back to their schools. We have a couple of the, the jewelry is made from a school, the vases are made from a school and the profits go back to their school. We also take some of the art and we make some merchandise with them. Uh, a local uh, retailer helps us make these. We put the art on mouse pads. We put the art on cosmetic bags. We have some coasters. We have coffee cups. We have patio sets all created with the art. And we have some handmade jewelry that are made with people with disabilities. Other than the artwork, we also have books that have been written and illustrated by people on the autism spectrum. Um, we have one from Christian Spencer, he's a local artist. We have books written by Brandon Drucker. We have a book written by Alima and her son, the story about her, her son and growing up. We, have, we make reprints from the art and small frames. We also make the artwork on clothing. So we have our own fashion line. This is an artwork made by Brandon on the dress. We have artwork made on shirts. And we have custom logos on shirts. And all of the proceeds go back to the individual artists to help them with their self-employment business. I'm an artist and right now I'm just doing some uh, some sketches I'm doing right here I do like a little projects from with my mom like uh, she likes to do some sometimes different with my artistic stuff as well I'm also not, also a graphic designer and an illustrator and I also made some calendars right here like this like those little unicorns they look nice as well. My mom likes unicorns. I love this place, and then uh, and then I just uh, love to uh, uh, like to paint a lot, and then uh, I, I I like to keep on selling uh, a lot of uh, uh, my, my my paintings, and I, and I always put it on the wall, and then uh, and I'm an author, and I'm an artist, and then, uh, you know because I, I I just love to draw because it's my favorites. Oh, it's gr it's really a great experience to to not only like to sell a lot of stuff, but to get to know us with other people, as well as other artists that has like amazing talents. I've seen the the look their work is really impressive around here. <laughs> 